Hey guys, welcome back to Desert Ranger. Today is day seven and that means that tonight we're going to be fighting the horde. But before we do that, we're going to have to do some stuff during the day. Now, I think my base is as done as it needs to be, but we did unlock tier four jobs yesterday, or rather we're about to unlock tier four jobs when Trader Hugh opens because I've already completed all the tier threes. And it'll be really interesting to see if we can get some good tier four rewards today. Maybe we can get two tier fours done and then do the horde night. Hopefully that doesn't make the episode too long. Really quickly before we get started, I brought some stuff over that I'm going to sell the Trader Hugh here because this trade's reset on day 7 if I remember correctly and I have 17,000 dukes as well so we have room to buy a lot of stuff. I also need to buy some water because I forgot to bring any. I did put some water in my Horde Night box back at my base though so not too bad. Yeah that seems good. Let's buy a health bar and some raw blisters. Pick up some of this coffee just to deal with the minor thirst issue. Right, Hugh, talk to me. Let's have a look in his secret stash first. It's the most important part. Nothing I really want. Looks like I missed out on the Magnum schematic, which I probably should have bought. Electric fence posts would be nice if I could get a generator set up quickly, but it's kind of overkill for a day seven horde. Acid, I don't feel the need to buy because it's kind of nowhere near as bad to find as it was initially in Alpha 20. I buy more cobblestone because I need more resources and yeah, let's buy some. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get the sugar butts. Yeah, yeah. before we go buying a big stack of uh, concrete. There, that saved like a thousand dukes right there. Any more arrows? I do need more iron arrows, so I'll take those. Yeah, that's all I'm going to buy today. So, right, so here are the jobs he has. There's two relatively close by, one kind of far away, and two nighttime jobs, which I'm not going to be doing tonight, as I feel something may get in the way of that. But let's start off with the further away clear zombies. The school one. So we're going to Navisgain High School. That is a great PY. Now, one thing I need to make sure I do is bring lockpicks. And it looks like I didn't, so maybe we need to check back in at the ranger station really quickly and grab some of those because that would be a terrible terrible eventuality if i had to mine my way through 10,000 health of tier 4 chest right then i'm back at the base and i don't think i will have any lockpick spare considering how we ended the last episode but it's worth checking maybe i'll have some time charges or something like that doesn't look promising though yeah nah i don't think we've gotten lucky this time chuck this coffee in here for later and that health bar Put these in here. Grab the Arca Juice. I wonder, do I know how to make lockpicks? No, you need the first rank of the lockpicking skill, right? Well, maybe we should really, really quickly upgrade some of this base, get some XP, and then go out on this job with a few lockpicks crafted. I know how we could get some XP actually. I just bought some concrete. Maybe we should head over to the horde base and reinforce some of it tactically. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start by just reinforcing the foundations just because I don't wanna mess up any of the pathing by making key areas too strong initially here. There we go, so there's a skill point. I am going to be going into perception much later in this series, so I don't mind putting a point here into the lockpicking. Doesn't feel particularly wasteful. And I know I have the forged iron and mechanical parts to make some lockpicks at least. Well, I don't think I have any dire need of any more mechanical parts for a while, so I can spend a couple of minutes doing that. There we go, there's our 11 lockpicks. Right, let's head over to the high school now. The reason I crafted lockpicks there is because you're going to get a locked chest at the end, and it's going to have 10,000 health, and I'd rather not bash through that with the stone axe. Also, this PY might give me a lot of ammo at the end if I get it open, so it's probably extra worth it on Horde Night. Right, let's get started. Oh my god, look at the amount of acid I'm getting now. Thank god the fun pimps fixed that. Or rather, I shouldn't say they fixed that, thank god they changed that. Because it wasn't a bug, it was just, you know, a questionable game design decision. Ah, oh, okay, I just have crazy luck today with, <laughs> with the acid. 
I don't even need the acid for anything right now. I have a chemistry station. And I don't need any wheels. I suppose I could make a fuel saver if I knew how to make one. But I just don't have the schematic for it. Right, let's have a look over here. Here's the final loot room, and this is how I like to deal with it if I can. There's one. Where is the next one? There's one there. But this bow is genuinely too accurate. I try and aim above things and it just goes over them. Here we go. Uh, I see him, but can I get an angle on his head at some point? That would be useful. And I see that soldier as well, but again, a headshot would be nice. Although, I'm probably never going to get a headshot, so let's just aggro him. At least there's 10,000 health of bars between us right now. I would rather that than the alternative. I suppose he could go for the door to my right, actually, wait. What is he going for? Is he just hitting a wall? I suppose the wall is weaker than the bars I'm behind. Oh, I think the tourist just heard me and fell. Or maybe a cop. I don't know, nothing to worry about, though. Oh. Oh, sounds like he's breaking through. Oh, it's a feral, hello. Let's go melee first. Because he has sledgehammers for hands, so I want to deal with him quickly. Oh. And I'm back. Right. Can you imagine if I'd gone away and forgotten about this guy? He would have just clotheslined me. Right, it sounds like I woke up the other guy. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, those feral tourists can break blocks like nobody's business. It's really scary, actually, in, like, feral sense and stuff. Okay, we're clear. I don't know if there's any good loot in this other room, but... Just give a quick look. Oh, yeah, here's something. I checked every vending machine in here, by the way, and none of them were working. So we're going to have to be doing this without jailbreakers. I hope we don't have a repeat of the last episode. I can only survive one brain hemorrhage today. Right, let's just give it a shot and hope for the best. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, it was only a few. I only used, what, three lockpicks? That's not too bad. Okay, so we got impact driver schematic. Nice. Ten lockpicks. That solves the first issue. Urban combat volume six armor doesn't slow you down. That's very, very good. Muffled connector is probably worth using for this build, and I even got some magnum ammo, which I've been looking for for a while now. Put these muffled connectors on... you can't put muffled connectors on padded armor anymore. Why? Why did they do this? Okay, let's put them on the gloves then. I also have a hood now, which I can use when I'm not cowboy hatting it. Right. Let's check this other stuff. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what weird combo of items to get in a bookstore box? Take them both though. Come on, fuel saver. Or schematic. Damn it. That would have been so nice for all the acid I got, but here we are. Four grip schematic. And is that it? I think I got everything else. Yeah. Well that wasn't too bad. Also made a big profit on lockpicks there. Almost got all the lockpicks back from the uh the incident. I wonder if this is gonna give me enough XP to level up. That would be really nice as well. Man, <laughs> not uh... Just don't let this go to your head. Of course it's a level 6 stun baton. What else would it be? <laughs> of course. Of course. It could have been a tier 6 knife. It could have been a tier 6 baseball bat. A tier 6 iron sledgehammer. But of course, instead, it was a level 6 stun baton. Ah, oh, do I want 3 painkillers or do I want 600 dukes? <laughs> Honestly, I'll take the painkillers. Enough to level up. Nice. Right, let's see. What can I put that into then? I have all the strength I want to go for for now. Perception's kind of fine where it is. It might be worth putting points into, like, pistols. Because they're going to be my main weapon eventually, so probably about time I put points into them. Let's take that second job. I am going to go over to that job and do it. Right, let me dump some stuff in here. And let's get on our way and get that tier 4 done as quickly as possible. Because we're kind of pushing it with the time. Oh. This guy out here counts, apparently. Okay, so the guys in the garden count as clear. Okay, fair enough. You stop my stamina jumping down, I'm an idiot. I'm 
I'm really disappointed the high school didn't give me any 9 mil bullets because it gave me a bunch of ammos I would rather not have right now. Like, I would have preferred 9 mil over more magnum ammo. Oh, the decap chance with 6 agility is disgusting. Oh, nice. That's just a straight up level six pickaxe. Sure. It'll help me if I run out of lockpicks for sure anyway. <laughs> oh. Oh. What level of machete can I make right now? Four. If I got another point, I could make fives. I need to go and get some machete parts then. Hmm. I'll need 15 for a level five, I think, if I understand the maths on that correctly. So that is going to be a bit of a goal for the short term here. Hello. Ugh. I shouldn't have tried to make that jump while reloading. Whoa. Nice, more magnum ammo. Another beaker. Okay, we're coming up on the end room here. This one can be pretty scary sometimes, but let's try and get a few stealth kills. Oh yeah, that's a room filled with guys. Okay, that thinned them out significantly. Really? I don't want to hit that. Oh, that's a waste of arrows. Let's try to kill melee. Oh, looks like we're going loud. Ish. I mean, I'm still using a knife, but I'm not sneaking anymore. Ow. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Quick little first aid bandage here. There we go. Are you a feral? Oh, he's a feral. <laughs> oh, he bled out. Nice. No 9 mil for Horde Knight, though, but honestly, the 9 mil isn't fantastic on Horde Knight anyway. Let's open this. I didn't bring my lockpicks. Oh my god. I hope they're just in the motorcycle outside, or I might just retire. Custom fittings, put those on the gloves, and a double barrel shotgun schematic, sure. <laughs> okay, that didn't take too much time to clear at all, but I do still have to go and get some lockpicks here. By the way, what's my loot stage? 57. Utter trash. We are not getting good loot yet, but that's the thing about the new loot system is even if you're getting low level loot, you still get good stuff from high level POIs now, which I love. Big pile of lockpicks, some ammo, usually something like some acid or something like that. It makes it feel a lot more worthwhile, you know, having lockpicks to open them rather than just being like, I'm not gonna get anything good, I'm not gonna bother with this. So good change, fun pimps. Right, let's pop this open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> funny game, funny game. Oh, you're so funny. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, extended mag. Crucible schematic. See what I mean? The loot is worth it now. Also, 10 time charges are basically like a load of lockpicks, so I'll take it. Iron armor is no use to anybody. Some 9 mil and some more magnum ammo. We're gonna have more magnum ammo than bloody 9 mil. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just surprised. Right, let's head back to you, get the quest reward really quickly and set up for Horde Knight. Cutting it kind of close, but I should be fine. I've got a motorcycle after all. Alright, and we might just get enough XP to level up again. If not, uh, when I head over to the Horde base, I can put some concrete in and I'll probably level up. Uh, 
Level 5 steel knuckles. <sighs> well, those rewards are kind of terrible, but they're also kind of good. They're just not good for me. That's the annoying part. It's like, those rewards would be great if I wanted them. But I don't want those particular rewards. Right, let's head back to my base, grab all the stuff I need, and then head over to the Horde base. Right, Horde Knight box. Everything I need. Nice. Let's put the shotgun on here. Move all this down. <laughs> And the Magnum, I actually think I put the Magnum in the wrong box, but we should be good. Right, Magnum, shotgun, everything. I think we're good, let's go. Right, so we have the motorcycle in the emergency position. Uh, let me swap out the axe for the hammer. Oh no, the hammer's here. Let me put some pipe bombs in here instead of the axe. Right, let's get a skill point really quickly. Just keep leveling up the foundations. Well, I didn't do this part. There we go. Put that skill point into pistols. Even more handgun damage. One thing I'll definitely want to try and do is get into that block there. There, so there should be no chance of them breaking through this and crumbling the base beneath me if something goes wrong. Because it's made of concrete and it's only the Day 7 Horde. This is kind of overkill, but better safe than sorry. Try and do this. Can I do a similar situation to that other thing back there? I don't think I'm going to be able to thread the needle. Yeah, I'll have to wait for some of those to break, which they will. Yeah, looks like we're good. Let's head up. I'll do this way. And it looks like I missed an iron hatch, but honestly, not that big a deal. I'm also going to upgrade this block. Oh, are we out of concrete? We're out of concrete. Right, this is what we have. So we have a bunch of iron for the repairs. I have money on me. Why have I got money on me? Nice big stack of dukes there. Um, I'm probably going to find money in the bag, so having a stack of dukes open isn't a terrible idea. We got everything else I need. Plus a bunch of stuff I just didn't have time to put away, because, you know, we're kind of cutting it close here. So, I've got my AK for if they get through. <laughs> I have the pistol if I need to do some extra DPS. I'll try and not use my 9mm, because I'd rather use it for clearing. I got my shotgun with a lot of ammo for it because the game just throws it at you. Keep in mind, in episode 4, I sold this much shotgun ammo and here I am with about the same amount. I have my magnum with 80 odd shots here. I also have the bow, which isn't terrible on the first horde, and I have some pipe bombs, some molotovs. I'm going to take some vitamins just because I don't want to get infected and I rarely use vitamins anyway, so it makes sense to do it now. Now it's a waiting game. Oh, here they come. Yep, they seem to be doing just fine. Let's stack on that bleed. You know, if they're going to pile up that quickly, I can always just do this instead. Never forget your pipe bombs, folks. Yeah, with this build, I might just have to use my guns. The, uh, the knife is not a good Horde Knight weapon. <laughs> Oh, she can reach me, okay. <laughs> hey, some loot. So when you're doing this, you may want to keep an eye on this one and repair that. Very, very cheap. And that top block. Don't forget that top block. Because that'll get you. Okay, they're bunching up again. Let's use a pipe bomb. You can use Molotovs, but they are so unreliable for me, I just hate it. There we go. I should probably use the Magnum a bit. Desert Ranger, after all. It just feels like the ammo's too precious to use right now, though. <laughs> Check that top bit. Yep, they're really going for it. Whoa! Whoa! How did she do that? Okay, I gotta watch out for that then, apparently. You really can't go wrong with a double barrel shotgun for the first horde. This is with no points in boomstick either. It's a, such a reliable weapon, I love it. Of course, I'd rather have like a pump action. So they broke through the first layer of hatch. Don't be too concerned about that though. Just hold this for a bit. You'll get there. There you go. Keep this bit reinforced. No problem. Oh, brought up chat there. I think a good upgrade to this would be a few electric fence posts along this uh, front part here. 
just slow them right down and line them up for a good penetrator shot later in the game maybe. I think I'll make a bigger base later though. Something that can handle a bit more demo issues. I also should have put a block above there just so they stop piling. Not that it's a big issue because it's just cobblestone. Pop, pop, done. Pop, pop. Let's chuck a pipe bomb while they're piled up like that. Oh, that bounced. Yeah, that missed. There we go, that won't. <laughs> There's a level. Should have put that into pistols straight away. Before I forget. Speaking of pistols, let's go back to that magnum. That can't be it all already. Sounds like she landed down and didn't land on a spike, so she's hitting the base. But that's the nature of the primitive spikes. Another pipe bomb time. Oh. Prepare that. Check the ceiling block, prepare that. Height bombs are so OP, especially for the early horde. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what build you're doing. Height bombs and a double barrel shotgun with this base. No problems for the first couple of weeks. Although, maybe you'll want a pump action by like week three, but still. Okay, is that it actually done? It sounds all clear. You can see by the way the pipe bombs don't do crazy damage to the surrounding area. They do like 10 damage every block nearby. You'd have to throw a lot of pipe bombs for it to be an actual issue. I'm going to probably put like a block here or here just to stop them doing the standing on top of each other thing because it's mildly inconvenient and I would prefer that to not be happening. Oh, look at all those loot bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spikes ran out is the problem. Uh, so they probably have put a few punches into this. But it seems to have done its job mostly of just landing in the spikes and stopping them. There is a little bit of damage because towards the end there you can see there is no spikes left. But if you were using like electric fences or blade traps, that would have been fine. Look at all these loot bags. Weighted head. I'm going to take those crossbow bolts because we might find a crossbow soon. Some food, some shotgun shells, some... A uh, level 5 iron shovel, sure. Uh, some more ammo. Height pistol, I, I'm gonna look at it. Iron armor we can sell, some first aid. Scope schematic, more magnum ammo, thank you game. Level 5 sledgehammer, scrap it up. Uh, more crossbow bolts. The goldenrod tea recipe, okay. No need for Master Chef rank 1 for me then. Yep, yeah, okay. Is that everything? Yeah, the spikes really are the MVP here. They just stopped any damage to this. Of course, you can use iron spikes if you like, but they're kind of resource inefficient in my opinion. And with that, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to check out my links below to my Discord, my Twitter, my Twitch, all that good stuff. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Desert Ranger, where I think we'll just be continuing with tier four jobs and making some base upgrades, maybe. Bye, guys.